Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Tarot. Cross Watcher, and welcome to Sexy Tarot Cross Watcher. This will be your edition of Sexy Tarot's Cross Watcher's Dream. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Cross Watcher, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Cross Watcher. As I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the Virgo, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Cross Watcher. As I'm progressing through the reading and you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, then this is not your Cross Watcher's dream. If you are here Cross Watching for a Virgo, you are in the right place. You are in the right place. Happy birthday to my Virgos if you are on this channel watching. However, if you're cross watching and you are a Scorpio, check this baby out. This is the cotton candy necklace, okay? And it says Scorpio. Can you see that? How beautiful that is? And you can get this on Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon website. Let me begin. Because I'm sure you all are curious to know what is up with the Virgo. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, I almost started there and that's not what we're doing. The first thing I'm going to do is get you six messages from the Virgo. Spirit, what is it that the Virgo wants to tell the cross watcher? What is it that the Virgo wants to tell the cross watcher? True love is hard to find, but I found it with you. So the Virgo wants you to know true love is hard to find, but the any found it in you. The Virgo says, I see my future when I look into your eyes. The Virgo feels like that they are in love with you and that their future lies with you, cross watcher. Spirit, what does Virgo want to tell the cross watcher? What is it that Virgo wants to tell the cross watcher? It says, you make my heart skip a beat. I get butterflies when we talk. So I don't know if you're a um, new person, but Virgo um, gets very nervous when they talk to you. They are really feeling this connection. The Virgo says, you are the one that I've been looking for my whole life. Okay, Spirit, may I have two more messages from Virgo to the Cross Watcher? May I have two more messages from Virgo to the Cross Watcher? Cross Watcher, Virgo says, Sometimes I feel like you want too much from me. Sometimes I feel like you want too much from me. Virgo also says, I've been depressed lately. Things have been really hard. So it looks like you and the Virgo are going through a few things. Or unless there's two energies here. Because it looks like with someone, Virgo feels like that the demands that are being placed upon them are too much. And they, they're, they've been depressed, okay? It looks like there's um, a connection that's on the verge of, I don't want to say on the verge of a breakup. It looks like this connection is in rocky waters right now. And you and the Virgo may have a few things to work out. And the Virgo feels like that you are their true love. They see you in their future. And, you know, they feel like you're the one they've been looking for their whole life. Okay? So let's move these to the side. Let's get into it. Cross watching. On the crack. On the crack. So, it looks like there was a breakup here. 
it looks like with this page of pentacles pisces cancer scorpio energy that someone wants to apologize for ab abandoning the situation leaving someone out in the cold okay so either the virgo could be apologizing to you because they had to go or you're apologizing to the virgo because you had to go spirit one good shuffle for the virgo Spirit, what does the Virgo want to tell the Pearls Watcher? What does the Virgo want to tell the Pearls Watcher? And as always, my cards are pre-shuffled. Let me move this out of the way. Pearls Watcher. In the recent past, the Virgo experienced the Four of Cups. In the current situation, the Virgo is experiencing the world. What's on the Virgo's mind when it comes to you is the Nine of Pentacles. How the Virgo views you, Cross Watcher, is the Nine of Swords. How the Virgo feels about you is the Lovers. Are you cheating on the Virgo? How the Virgo see you and them moving forward is the Page of Pentacles. Within the hidden energies that you nor the Virgo see coming is the Nine of Cups. Spirit's advice to you, Cross Watcher, when it comes to dealing with the Virgo is the Two of Pentacles. You better figure this shit out, Cross Watcher. And this is the potential outcome. At the bottom of the deck, Cross Watcher, the reading for your reading today is the Hierophant. The Hierophant. This may be a marriage. Some of you are Tauruses, but it looks like um, Cross Watcher, um, the Virgo wants to talk to you. They want to confess something to you. They feel like this is a spiritual union. They may even want marriage counseling if this is a marriage, but they feel like there needs to be something structured and organized in order for forgiveness to take place. So, Cross Watcher, we have the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and Judgment. Some of you are Scorpios. Let me do it this way. Some of you are Scorpios, okay? So, um, the Virgo, Cross Watcher, what you're telling me is the Virgo walked away from you. Um, you were emotionally drained. They ended it, and you want a reconciliation. That's what you're telling me, Cross Watcher. And then we could be vice versa. Don't be shooting the messenger. Cross watcher, what I'm seeing here is it looks like a cycle is being closed out here with this world energy. And it looks like that the Virgo is worried about this cycle being closed out. The Virgo could be um trying to figure out what it is they really want and how and how to relate this to you, okay? The Virgo right now feels um rejected. They feel like they don't th they don't have what it is they really want. And they're actually contemplating being single. So I just want to put that out there right now. Cross watching. In the recent past, the Virgo experienced the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups. The Virgo um, in the recent past, you could have made a Virgo an offer of love. Or the Virgo made you an offer of love. But whatever this offer was, it was rejected. Okay? Somebody is bored. It looks like the Virgo is bored with the way things are going, how things are playing out. So let's see what this rejection was about. Let me move my crystals. Spirit, in the recent past, the Virgo experienced the Four of Cups. Can you tell the cross watcher why the Virgo experienced the Four of Cups? Yeah, they, they felt alone. Let's see what you have to say. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you are fixed signs, such as an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Taurus, the cutting, cutting, and obsessions. And Cross Watcher, what you're telling me is that um, you obsessed with the Virgo. You feel like the Virgo ended this very abruptly. They just changed on you. Now, I'm not saying it's true, but this is how you're feeling, Cross Watcher. Well, in the recent past, we're also watching the Virgo just, you know, they didn't want it. They just wanted to be left alone. They go to Virgo card right there, that hermit card. They just wanted to be left alone. The Virgo felt like they needed some alone time. They wanted to do some deep soul searching to see what was really happening in this connection. Spirit. In the recent past, the Virgo wanted to be left alone to do some soul searching. They didn't want to be bothered. Tell me about this isolation for the Virgo. At the bottom of the deck, you have the hearts. You have the clouds. 
and you have the dice. And false watcher, what you telling me is that either you took some risk in the recent past that caused some confusion in this connection. It caused this connection to be at a stalemate. Okay, I have 12 here and I have 12 here. So, um, and you're trying to gain a new perspective or cross watcher. What you telling me is that in the recent past, the Virgo took a risk. Okay, that caused some confusion and a stalemate in this loving connection. But cross watcher in the recent past, the Virgo needed some time alone before they uh, made a decision about this offer. For this reconciliation because there was an offer for reconciliation here and the decision needed to be made but the verbal felt like there was a catch to this it was a catch like this wasn't an equal give and take it wasn't balanced and again i'm not saying it's true i'm just like you know what's here for the verbal i'm not gonna keep repeating that but i do want you to know that um, I have no size and agreements with anyone. I'm just reading cards. Spirit, in the recent past, the Virgo felt like they wanted to, wanted to reject this offer for reconciliation. They felt like it was a catch to it. They just wanted some time to do some deep soul searching. Tell the cross watcher about it. At the bottom of the deck, you have nightlife, you have intimacy and strategy. So, Cross Watcher, if I may be all the way honest, it looked like that um, maybe you felt like, um, Cross Watcher, it looked like you was being manipulative. It looked like you were strategizing to hang out and be intimate with someone in the evening hours. Or you could have felt like the Virgo was doing it, but this is what you're telling me, okay? And the Virgo feels like that there's a catch. And the reason they reject this and they want to be left alone because they feel like um, in the recent past, there was some arguments. Um, it was some extreme passion given somewhere else. So let's see what these arguments about this is. Because that's card. It looked like, see, because this is a guitar, right? So when I see a guitar, I think, what, you, what do you do to a guitar? You play it, right? So in the recent past, the Virgo feel like you played them. They feel like you played them to have patience somewhere else. And you kind of telling me the same thing. And that's why they're rejecting you. Spirit, in the recent past, the Virgo feels like the cross watcher played them for some extreme passion. Tell me about it. Or this was a very heated argument. At the bottom of the deck, you have success. You have frustration and you have protection. And cross watching what you're telling me is a Virgo is very guarded. They're protecting themselves. And you want the Virgo back, but it's very frustrating. It's very stress frustrating for you right now because you want the Virgo back. Well, the Virgo feels like that whatever you were doing, you played them. You could have played them on some money with this abundance issue. Um, being here, it seems like there was an extreme argument in the recent past and the verbal feels like that you played them when it came to some money. And so right now they want to be left alone. So let's get some more information on this. Spirit, in the recent past, the Virgo rejected this offer. They just wanted to be left alone. You tell Crosswatcher why there was this fight about this abundance, why Virgo wants to be left alone. Tell the Crosswatcher about this. At the bottom of the deck, you have time. You have sugar coat and makeover. And Crosswatcher, what you're telling me is you want a second chance. You um you made some changes to your appearance, possibly, to spice yourself up. And you feel like in the right time, you can sweet talk the Virgo. You just feel like the Virgo need time. But Crosswatcher, are you really sincere about your efforts to the Virgo? I have to ask that because, see, when I see this card here, sugar coat, superficial expressions, not all that is cracked up to be. That makes me wonder. As a reader... Well, Crosswatcher, in the recent past, the Virgo feels like they loved you. 
They love you. They felt like this was an opportunity to experience love with you. However, they were hurt. They were hurt. So now the Virgo feels like they they need to heal. They're recovering from some trauma in relation to some money that came in or some marriage or some structure that was supposed to be reliable. Okay. So the Virgo feels like in the recent past that you were misleading about some money or misleading about this marriage. Um, and they feel like you played them. Cross watching. In the current situation, the current situation, Virgo is experiencing the world. The world. Some of your fixed signs, such as an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Leo, or a Taurus. But the Virgo um currently feels like that this chapter is closed. And the reason the Virgo feels like this chapter is closed is because it's too much pain here. Um, things they feel like this keeps happening over and over again. They feels like they feel like there's a bunch of obstacles and challenges in the way that's hurting them. They feel like you're unreliable and you're inconsistent. And the Virgo again wants to be left alone with the solitude and cleanse card to try to figure things out. Spirit, currently the Virgo feels like this cycle is over. They want some long time to try to figure things out, okay? The Virgo is in pain. At the bottom of the deck, you have open up. You have snails, pace, and reflection. And Cross Watcher, what you're telling me is you're reflecting on your actions, you're evaluating everything, you walking down memory lane because you want the Virgo to open up and it's moving so slow. The Virgo is slow to open up and you thinking about this. But Cross Watcher, the Virgo currently, you know, they're very stubborn. They're, it's like talking to them right now. It's like talking to a brick wall because they want to be left alone with the solitude. And even here they're saying, look, just leave me alone right now, okay? The Virgo right now, they, they don't want to talk to you because they feel like it was some new passion, some chemistry that you had somewhere else. So when it comes to the second chance and trying it again, the Virgo was like, no, just leave me alone for a minute. Cross watcher, what's on the Virgo's mind when it comes to you? What's on the Virgo's mind when it comes to you is the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles. The Virgo is feeling like, you know, they got everything they need. They're stable. They're single. Or they think you you act like you're single. And the, and the reason they feel this way is, here go that hermit card is, again, it's like everything in their life experiences their intuition they have wisdom you know they they're going within right now to see if they should be single when it comes to this connection because right now the virgo doesn't have any emotions they feel very empty inside they feel hollow they don't even see how this connection can move forward spirit when it comes to the cross watcher, the Virgo feels like they're empty inside them. Maybe they should be single. They don't even see how this connection can move forward. Can you tell the cross watcher about this? At the bottom of the deck, you have free yourself. You have moving on and red string of fate. And Cross Watcher, what you're telling me is you feel like this is a spiritual bond that can't be broken. Like you want the Virgo. However, it seems like the Virgo is moving on and it's like um, they want to free themselves. But now it's like you want these burdens and this negativity to go away so y'all can move forward, move on. Because you feel like you and a Virgo had a spiritual bond. And again, y'all could be married. Cross Watcher, what's on the Virgo's mind is you are a gem. You are a gem. They feel like no one compares to you. Some of you are Geminis. However, they feel like that, you know, when it comes to you, it's like they feel like they hold you in high regard, but you, uh, you leave them alone. You abandon them and you shut down. And they feel like this isn't fair. It's not an equal give and take, you know. And so... 
they don't see how this can move forward. Cross watcher, how the Virgo views you, how the Virgo views you is they view you in his nine of swords energy. A whole lot of nines here. Um, the Virgo views you as um losing sleep at night, being worried, anxious, full of anxiety. Because you don't know with this book card energy, because that book card is closed, if there will be a reconciliation. You don't know if there will be a reconciliation, and they view you as wanting this reconciliation, but they have not given you an answer. The Virgo views you right now as their ex. They're very angry. It's that passion card, and I'm looking at that robot. The Virgo is upset right now. Okay, y'all. Spirit, the Virgo is upset. They view the cross watcher as they ex. They view the cross watcher as worrying about if this will there will be a reconciliation. Tell the cross watcher about it. At the bottom of the deck, you have super sweet. You have happy home and traveling. And what you're telling me, Frost Watcher, is that there's emotional distance now, possibly because you were seeing other people. Frost Watcher, what you're telling me, is, or and it could be vice versa, okay? I'm just reading it, the energies. You put them where, put the energies where they belong. And Frost Watcher, what you're telling me is you did, you did everything in your power. You tried to be sweet to the Virgo. You was bringing them gifts, everything to get this happy home back. Some of y'all travel to do this. Or some of you thought everything was sweet at home. They telling me to go back. Some of you thought everything was sweetest at home. And while you were traveling, you was meeting new people and new thing and doing new things with new people. It caused this emotional distance. But cross watcher, the Virgo feels like you have a lover. The Virgo feels like you have a lover. Some of you are Gemini's. They feel like you have, you need to um, make a decision between two people and see the distance between these two people and this obstacle just growing. The Virgo feels like that you need to put the work in if you want the stability with this make the effort card and the anchor card. The Virgo feels like you need to put the work in and make a decision. Do you love them or not? The Virgo is very old-fashioned. This could, And again, this could be a marriage with old-fashioned and faith here. The Virgo is old-fashioned, and they feel like that a marriage should be one of traditional, um, traditional values and morals. The Virgo um, feels like they need to be able to trust you. I really want to make this, yeah, like that so you guys can see it better. Okay. Uh, All right, there we go. Spirit. The Virgo feels like, <laughs> I don't know, I just really want to fix this. You know what I'm going to do. Let's put some amethyst up here. And let it lean on the amethyst and the crystal. How about that? Just be patient with me, Cross Watcher. One second. Because I want to make sure that you all can see the cards. Okay. Target. Spirit. The verbal feels like the pros watcher has another lover. I saw it. Some of y'all are Scorpio. At the bottom of the deck, you have commitment. Again, this can be a marriage. Maybe that high, that's why that Hierophant card is giving me so much trouble. You have unraveling and you have going with that. So, Cross Watcher, what you telling me is you doing a lot of soul searching, some inner reflection, you know, because the truth has came out. Things are falling apart when it comes to this commitment.
Well, girls, watch it. The Virgo feels like you need to make a decision if you love them. And they feel like, you know, you need to put in the work if you want the stability with them. The Virgo wants this traditional connection. And again, I feel like for some of you, this is a marriage or some sort of higher level of commitment, okay? And the Virgo feels like, you know, they want things to transform. Some of you are Scorpios. The Virgo feels like, you know, y'all been through a lot of pain and tragedy, you know, and they want this connection to rise up. The Virgo feels like you do want this reconciliation and you want to transform this connection. The Virgo feels like you feel like this is a spiritual bond that cannot be broken. And I feel like the Virgo feels this way too. But the Virgo is just very upset right now. How the Virgo sees the two of you moving forward is the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. The Virgo feels like um, there's some lessons that need to be learned here. When it comes to the spiritual connection, the Virgo feels like there was some deception here, some lies that was told, and like you need to learn your lesson, and that you need to surrender these toxic behaviors. They feel like you're toxic, that maybe you were cheating on them, lying on them, you know, maybe you just got these habits. So moving forward, in their mind, it's like, if y'all want to talk, y'all need to lay it out on the table and confess some things about what was you doing out there in them streets. And again, it could be vice versa. Spirit, moving forward, the Virgo feels like there needs to be a conversation. Um, some lessons need to be learned. There needs to be some confessions about these lies. And somebody needs to give up some toxic behavior. Sell the cross watch about this. At the bottom of the deck, you have this commitment unraveling. And what you tell me, Cross Watcher, is like, yeah, sexy, I'm going with it. I'm thinking about it. And yeah, they found me out. I know the truth. They know the truth about what happened in our commitment. Well, Cross Watcher, moving forward, the Virgo feels like they don't want any misunderstandings, any clouding of the facts, okay? Because these lies, these misunderstandings, this confusion caused a lot of pain when you made a new love offer. I'm getting like heavy um, suspicion of cheating, okay? In the head, in the head, energies where you and the Virgo do not see coming is this nine of cups, this nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment. This is happiness. Woo, so, <clears throat> what I'm getting is, although there's this stability and there's this home, somebody is happy to be alone in the house. That's what I'm here, due to an ending. And in the hidden energies, the Virgo will be standing their ground, but y'all will try to work on this. The Virgo is happy to be working on it. But somebody gonna be a it's like if y'all marry one of y'all in the house and one of y'all not, okay. But some of y'all are Leos, but there is this strong determination to work on the connection. It's like it's still being worked on. Spirit, can you tell the cross watcher why in the hidden energies there will be happiness? Someone will be in the house. I'm here alone in the house. Okay. Like, if this was a, if y'all marry and it's a court case, or even if it's not a court case, one of y'all might have decided, okay, you stay in the house and I'm going to stay somewhere else until we figure this out. That type of dynamic for some of you. Spirit, why is and why is this wish fulfillment and the hidden energies about the stability and being alone in the house? It looked like there's somebody strongly working on it. Or maybe somebody y'all remodeling the house. I don't know. 
at the bottom of the deck, you have commitment. It's like cross watching. Your story is the same. Whatever the Virgo heard about you, whatever was going on in the hidden energies, it's like you alone were going within because the truth came out. And for the Virgo in the hidden energies, and again, it could be vice versa. <clears throat> it's going to be some text, some phone calls and conversations for y'all to try to work it out. However, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere because somebody feels like this is just the same old shit on a different day with empty feelings and boredom routine. Frost Watcher, spirit advice to you when it comes to dealing with the Virgo is stop juggling. Be of sound mind. Know what it is you want. Where, what it is you uh, need in a connection. And don't juggle. Like, don't cheat. Don't be juggling two people. Cross watcher, the spirit, spirit is telling you you need to tell the truth about who you were socializing with. The spirit advice to you in order to have this peace in this new beginning. I'm just saying. Spirit, your advice to the cross watcher is to stop juggling, figure it, figure out what it is they want. You want the cross watcher to tell the truth so that they can have peace in the new beginning. Tell the cross watcher about this. At the bottom of the deck, you have workaholic. You have cycles and locked out. Because right now, cross watcher, it's like you are locked out of this connection. Like it's hard to reach the Virgo, get back into their good graces because. It's like y'all been here before. Y'all tried to work on this before and y'all just keep repeating this pattern. And because of that, spirit is like you need to make your mind up because you're not listening to these lessons that need to be learned when it comes to you having a happy home. You know, and you need to, um, and now you can't get the Virgo out your mind, but you're not listening to the spiritual advice because it's a lot of spirituality cards out here that's being brought to your attention. The potential outcome for you in the Vir Virgo cross watcher is the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords. If this is a marriage, a lawyer might be being called. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. But in situations like this, my Queen of Swords usually shows up as a lawyer. This is some truthful communication being spoken. Somebody has been through a lot of things and they know the truth, okay? The potential outcome is with this snake and his money, okay? Somebody is like, look, you took the money. Where does money go? Tell me what you was doing with this money. Was you spending this money on other people? Was you spending this money on prostitutes, sex workers? Were you spending this money to drink, gamble, drug? Like, you know, do you even value this connection? Because you were inflexible. You were creating obstacles and challenges, you know. So somebody like, you know, you need to think about this. Do you value this? And if you value this, why was all these problems here? So y'all going to have a conversation. And with this conversation, it's like the signs are saying stop. Like somebody feel like they're not going to be happy here. Like given all that has occurred, given all that has come out, given all that we are talking about, given all that you pursued or verbal pursued, we're not happy. Spirit. The potential outcome is... For Virgo on the cross watch, it looked like there's signs that they cannot be happy together, that there's toxicity, and that either Virgo or the cross watch are going to value this connection. It looks like some truths are being spoken, and there's an ending occurring. Tell me about it. And the Virgo is the press behind this, but they feel like, look, at the bottom of the deck, you have workaholic, 
You have cycles and locked out. And Cross Watcher, what you telling me, some of y'all really locked out the house. Like the locks was changed. Cross Watcher, what you telling me is like, yeah, Virgo, you know, they hard to reach. They done change their number. You know, um, they won't let me in emotionally. The Virgo feels like that all I do is work on apologizing and I just keep doing the same stuff to them. That's what you tell me. Well, Cross Watcher, the Virgo feels like that there's nothing left. Like they're heartbroken. They have this void, this this emptiness inside them. You know, because you moved on to somebody else. When you moved on to somebody else, and it could again it could be vice versa versa. But I'm reading for the Virgo for you. Um it's like when you moved on to somebody else, it's like they feel like you made them sick inside. Like they this unraveled the Virgo, okay? And they feel like, you know, another they need to free themselves from this in order to get away from these birds, this stress, and this negativity. Let me get you some advice for this reading, Cross Watcher. Spirit, what advice you have for the cross watcher when dealing with the Virgo? What advice you have for the cross watcher when dealing with the Virgo? Cross watcher spirit saying it's you. Spirit, what advice? you have when dealing with the Virgo? What advice you have for the cross watcher when dealing with the Virgo? Spirit, what advice you have for the cross watcher when dealing with the Virgo? What advice you have for the cross Thank you. Cross watcher. Spirit is seeing the heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. So cross watcher, there's some confusion here. And you and a Virgo need to have a conversation and get to the heart of the matter. Because there's more going on here than meets the eye. And spirit is seeing that there's some confusion here. And with this confusion, you have to be honest and show the world the real you. Like tell Virgo what it is you really like. Like for instance, and I'm not trying to be crass, because it looks like someone stepped out on this connection and cheated. So hypothetically speaking, all right, well, this is the best way I'm going to put it, because I'm not trying not to be crass. But hypothetically speaking, cross watcher, you like toe jobs, because I don't want to go nowhere else with some other type of job, sexually. And you and the Virgo don't engage in it. Spirit, like, all right, but just tell the truth. Like, get to the heart of the matter. Put it out there, had this deep conversation, and so say what it really is, okay? And with calling in your soulmate, it says, I want this to clear up. It says, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So if you tell the Virgo exactly what it is you like, how you want it, it don't mean you won't get all your needs met, but just have this conversation and be honest and get to the heart of the matter so that y'all can come together as soulmates, visualize and manifest what it is y'all want in this partnership, this connection, or this marriage. Cross watch. It's fair to see honesty is essential. Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. Speak with love and truth. Because see, there's a mask on here. And this mask needs to fall. Spirit is saying honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. And let the Virgo know that you value them, that they're good enough. Because part of this is you made the Virgo feel like they weren't worthy when you weren't looking out there. And it could be vice versa. Or maybe you feel like the Virgo need to tell you this themselves. You know, tell you the truth. But whatever it is, honesty is essential. And let the Virgo know that you love them just the way they are. Let the Virgo know you love them just the way they are. 
And if you locked out and access denied, you and a Virgo probably been together long enough where y'all got mutual friends. And spirit like, let your friends help you. Let your friends help you. Have your friends drop off that box of chocolates. Have your friends, you know, drop a, um, you know, schedule a visit or call the Virgo for you. Because right here, it looks like this person back is turned. This person back is turned. They're being handed a rose by someone with a mask on. And what I tell people, yes, roses are beautiful but roses are ever unfolding you always learn more what I tell people about roses is the motherfuckers got thorns and they hurt so however beautiful to look at the verb will feel like you know right now their back is turned because they don't know the truth they don't know if you what you giving them is more that's going to come out they don't know if it's some damn thorns that's going to stick them so I would like to give you that analogy cross watcher spirit is saying like attracts light if you long for more love be more loving okay you're going to get in what you you're going to get out of this what you put into it you're going to get out of it what you put into it if you want more love with the virgo if you want more kindness with the virgo then you have to be more loving and kind okay and you need to meditate and contemplate and think about this some of you are pisces you need to meditate and contemplate and think about this you know how are you behaving in this connection do you treat this connection as one that's valuable to you okay and cross watch the spirit is seeing that you can renew this love you can renew this love now if you don't renew this love and you move on to someone else cross watching you always be mindful that whatever you bring to the situation is what you want to get out of the situation okay this is something you need to contemplate meditate think about especially if you're going after new love because you only want to repeat the patterns and the cycles of old that you went through with the virgo cross watcher cross watcher cross watcher this has been your edition of sexy is snitching if you were here cross watching for this virgo you were in the right place you were in the right place please like comment share and subscribe hit the notification bell cross watcher if you would like to be notified the next time i go live or upload a video peace cross watcher i hope it work out for you love Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You're here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Terror.